Oh, lighting is shit. So, it is 8.43. 8.43 a.m. Yes, I literally just like looked at the time before I even started this. Okay. Okay, so it's like, it's early in the morning for me. <clears throat> I like just woke up. See my, my little kitty. Hello. Hi. Hello. <laughs> um, but I thought I would do a get ready with me. Um, I tried this before, like a chit chat get ready with me, and I don't know. I felt like I didn't really like it or care for it, and it was all over the place. So, I don't know. I'm just gonna kind of be doing like my oh my everyday makeup um and show you guys how i do that i need my laptop um and show you guys how i do that which there's nothing really special about it um but pretty much you guys i guess can see like my pretty much everyday routine like from scratch like you know i took a shower last night so like i am completely naked face eyebrows aren't done nothing so yeah <laughs> um and usually i feel like i talk a little louder in videos if i talk a little more quiet it's because me and my dad share a vent and he is home and even though he does have his fan on and i can kind of like hear it the vent is literally like right here and so we share the vent and i don't want to be like too loud and i don't want him to like hear me talking to you guys or i just don't like want to wake him up or anything like that so yeah so I'm just pretty much gonna get started with it and a little loud. and when I first wake up I feel like my voice is always like jackass hit. So I literally have five pop cans right in front of me. This is how bad plus I can't see pop. Uh I'm bad. I love Coke, but yet I have like a million fucking water bottles on my floor too. I'm fucking crazy. Okay, so I didn't even brush my hair. I should probably do that, so Usually, I just quickly brush my hair. I should be like, this is my morning routine, like, if I go to school. I don't know. I don't know, this is like my everyday makeup, but like, I don't know, my morning routine. Usually, I don't get up this early, though. So usually, I don't actually try to roll out of bed until like 9.20ish, like if I'm going to school, which I am today. Oof. My hair actually feels really good today. Can you see that wave? Sorry, the lighting is shitty. I don't want too much light. See, I have a struggle with lighting. Isn't he cute? Oh, that's too much light. <laughs> oh, fuck. I am not professional in my videos. That doesn't matter. Okay. I'm just keeping it real. I said I'm dust. I'm just keeping it real. Okay, let me just put my hair back. So it's out of my face. Um, I already wet my beauty blender, so that's good. Okay, so I just go in straight with my Maybelline New York Master Prime primer. And I open that up. I've been liking this a lot, and then I just put a shit ton of it on my face. <laughs> And then start with my cheeks, make sure I have hair, hair, chin, and a rub. Alright, see? Oh. I feel a lot better. I don't even know why, but like, I feel like I have such a hard time going to sleep at night. Like, sometimes I can't go to bed until almost 2 in the morning because I can't sleep. And, like, I'm always in bed. But, like, when I say, like, I'm gonna go to sleep, like, I'm going to bed, like, that means, like, I'm actually trying, like, I'm not on my phone, I'm not, um, I, I'm someone, I have to sleep with the TV on still, um, so I usually put, like, I just, like, play a random movie, and I let it play in the background, because, like, I'm afraid of the dark, and so I, like, have to have something playing while, like, I'm trying to, like, fall asleep, um, so, oh, my face is so soft. <laughs> and so yeah um what are you doing he's like he's four years old and he's literally just a toddler 
I'd pick up my camera right now, but that's too much of a hassle for the bed. What am I even talking about? But yeah, but like my sleeping, so I've been having a really hard time sleeping. But then I feel like I've been waking up early, and I don't know why. So, okay, I'm gonna go in with, I have four or five, like six fucking foundations in front of me. I don't know, I'm gonna go in with my, um, I'm just gonna go in with my matte poreless fit me foundation and does it even really have a shade oh <laughs> it's at the top 125 nude beige give you Ooh. I set my hair on it okay and this doesn't have a pump which I like pumps better but whatever I usually just it so I'll do it all in one by my hand and usually when I have it on my hand then I dip it in and go for the face because why not there we go I know I've noticed that when I'm doing my makeup lately that I ha I would used to like more like wipe it than actually dab like I dabbed it but I would like kind of wipe it. I mean, not that I still like don't do that. If that makes sense. Because like sometimes like if I go over a certain area, I wipe it. But I've been trying to dab it way more because like that's kind of the point with a sponge. Um, and it, oh god, it takes way more work. I can burp. I hope. Uh, I can see the difference. Oh. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> I have like nothing to talk about. God, I'm so sorry. I wish I had better lighting. Usually sometimes the lighting is better if I open up like the window, my blinds or whatever, and then it kind of like shines back so like it evens out the lighting, but it's not like the nice bright sunny lighting. It's like that shit ass winter <laughs> lighting, so. Uh, uh, yeah. If anyone wonders, I, oh yes, I always get like foundation and my concealer on my jewelry because it's right there. I just tend not to fucking care. I just clean my jewelry like after. Okay. <sighs> I don't know how long this video is going to be because sometimes it can take me a minute to do my makeup. But I'm just trying to be as fast as I can and show you guys like what I do. And yeah, I just kind of go over my eyebrows too. Even with my eyebrow piercing. I think I just go over it. I just gotta go over the lips, nose. Because your jewelry you can just wipe off at the end. Okay, so I did a pretty good job. I feel like I've been doing a good job making sure that I don't put too much on my hand when I have to like pour it. Okay, next I'm going in with, so I just did my primer, I did foundation, and then I go in with my Jeffree Star Magic Star Concealer. Open this bad boy up, and I love this concealer, oh god. Put it under my eyes. Ooh. Yeah, I just do that. On the nose, do a little swatch right there in the forehead. A little above my lip. Not nothing too dramatic. Um and again my chin and then underneath. Oh that's pretty much where I put that. Okay, and then I just oh, or no, I don't I usually start with my sides right here for some reason. Start with my size, do my chin. I love it because it just like brightens up my chin. And then pick that up, do that, go up my nose. He's so cute. And then my forehead. I 
And then I always do my eyes last just because I feel like, I don't know. I don't know why I really do my eyes last. I could do them first, but I just feel like everything else is good. And what are you doing? Being a weirdo. <laughs> Fucking scared me for a second. I hear you huffing like a little tiger. He does this thing when he goes. <laughs> Especially when you're play fighting with him. He's so cute. Or like what if he's out of breath or something. He goes. <laughs> he's just staring out the window. I love my cat. <laughs> Hello, are you gonna come visit mama? He's gonna start knocking shit over. Okay, so I got that done. Um, and now, <laughs> um, I go in with my translucent powder. Open it up. Put some in the cap, or if there's just a lot in the top of that. And I just take this beauty blender. A bit dab it in um put it underneath my eyes so everywhere i have um i just put concealer is where i'm gonna put powder so oh this keeps happening do you see that little mark i don't know why because this is like clean <laughs> okay sorry about that yelling at me okay but like i keep getting these like like i have eyeliner on it but like there's nothing on this can you see something that i can't because this keeps happening to me apparently i got a uh, okay so took a dry q-tip and then i'm just gonna like dab back over with that and pretend that's that did not happen. Okay. <laughs> um, definitely means that I have to clean this. Okay. So then I go continue. Mm. I'm trying really like bad. I just dump powder everywhere. Ugh, makeup fun. This is why my clothes are dirty. Makeup. That is it. See someone on a shirt? Probably makeup. <laughs> Don't roll my nose. Okay. I mostly try and bake real good underneath the eyes for the most part. Okay, so that's good. Okay, so then I let all this sit on my face, and then after I'm done doing that, then I go on with my eyebrow stuff, and I use Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Kit, and literally, it is like it felt it completely fell apart, and I do not know why because whatever. So I'm gonna go on with a spoolie. Is that what it's called? <laughs> I just noticed the thing that brushes my eyebrows. I have a little eyebrow brush. Um, <clears throat> do that, and then I go in with this flat brush. I don't use the brush that it comes with. I actually threw it away like not too long ago because I wasn't using it. Okay, and then I'm gonna dip still in my crumble ass mess down here. I need a new one of these because this is my favorite eyebrow kit, and I got it at I believe Target. I think, and I can't actually find it in store now. I had to order this one that I have now. Okay, so I brushed them, and I usually start with this one, and then I do that one. And I have a mirror in front of me, like a body mirror, but it, it's like behind my vanity and shit, so I only get like half of it. But, um, and I think I like, I do a better job. I've noticed if I do my eyebrows, um, like when I'm more back, and I'm looking at them from a distance than when I'm actually up close. Because I feel like if I'm up close, I don't know why I just struggle a lot more. But um, when I do eyebrows, I don't really want to be talking either because like I try and focus on them. So I'm going to speed this part up for you guys and you can just watch me do them.
just had an alarm go off, so that just like stopped my recording process, sorry. <laughs> okay, but I just got this one done, and I'm just doing the other one, so. Okay, so eyebrows are done. They turned out really good today. I'm really happy they wanted to work for me today. Sometimes it is not that easy um, for me when it comes to my eyebrows, but that was a really, today's a really good day for my eyebrows. And thank God, hopefully my wings do the same. Let's not jinx it, knock on wood. <laughs> oh my God, another piece of my eyebrow. Little stuff fell out and it's falling apart. I'm trying to save it because I don't do my eyebrows with anything else. Okay, so swipe those up, make sure those are good. Wow, I'm really happy my eyebrows did it. Woo! Okay, so next I go in then with pretty much eyeshadow if I do eyeshadow. Oh, I forgot to do this stuff because I'm do it's my like everyday that usually when I do my translucent translucent powder um and my everyday makeup and stuff like that um if i'm not doing like like a big um colorful or just a color that isn't the garlic like the light color right here then i then i do it like at this time but usually when i do my translucent translucent powder i take this big fluffy brush dip into that garlic color and then I pack that on but I forgot to so we're just doing it now but this is when I would do my eyeshadow anyway so I take this color and I put it on I love this color just because like there's still eyeshadow on my eye and so it makes it look pretty and smooth but it's like a I don't know like it, it I don't know it just makes my skin look brighter and healthier around my eyeballs <laughs> so that's what I do. So I do have eyeshadow on. It's just pretty much skin color. It just kind of brightens them and makes them look softer. It pretty much acts like a um pretty it's a powder. I mean that's what eyeshadow are. It's pretty much like the translucent powder for my eyelids. So okay, I put some of that on uh, because we're not going in with any like craziness today. Um this is my Wet n Wild H2O. Oh my god. Do you see this? Wait, what is ha what is happening? Maybe it's all over my brushes. I need to clean. Maybe I'll take you guys along when I do that. Yeah, I'll do that. You can come clean my brushes with me later. I'll make a video on that. How to clean my brushes. Wow, why is this so hard to open? Yeah, and when I got this one, do you see all that? That's how it opened. Is that like the glue like sealing glue or something like that because like i've never had that happen i don't know okay i actually i'm not gonna use that one today i'm gonna go in with my elf which this will forever be my favorite eyeliner okay i'm also really big on trying to keep myself concentrated when i do my wings so i'm gonna like speed up this part too and because of like the angle you guys can't really see my see me do my wings very good so <laughs> Um, I'm just gonna like speed this little part up and then I'll be back when I or just start talking again when I do my or get it done. Ugh, God. Okay. Okay, so I think they're good enough for me. I feel like there's a difference, but like, I don't know. You'll notice I'm super picky about my wings. I'm someone who like, has to make them like, <laughs> even and like pointy AF, like, 
like it has to cut a bitch to me. <laughs> This one definitely like flicks up more. But then this is when I have to have self-control and tell myself that they are okay. They will be fine. I think that I want to make this part thicker though. <laughs> okay, all right, let's not touch that one. Go in with my mascara. This is my Cushmilk mascara. Love it. You guys probably heard me talk about it a lot. And I'm gonna go in and coat that. Oh, there is an eyelash hanging down. That's gonna end up going in my eye. Oh, that makes me think of. Do you ever have eyelashes that they are in your top lash line, but one, it almost like it grows down like it grows farther down or it just grows like actually grows like down and like then all of a sudden it's like in your fucking eye and it's killing you and then you have to like take a pair of little tweezers and get all close and like pluck the base of it yeah hate that shit i hate anything towards my eyes whenever people like put in contacts either they take contacts out or put them in or if their eyes start watering, even eye drops. Oh, no, 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 no. I, my eyes will start watering like a baby because I hate anything to do with, like, that's why I get so freaked out. Not that I can't, I don't trust people, like, to do, like, my makeup, but, like, I am so weird. Like, my cousin did my makeup once. <laughs> I, oh, no. I am so scared when it comes to anything, like, stuff coming towards my face when it's not my own hand. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with the bottom with my LA Colors HD Waterproof Mascara because it's like almost gone. So, oh wait, duh, before I do that first, um, I'm gonna go back in with my Pizza Palette and I'm gonna go in the shade Black Olives down here, which is just, black um i'm going with this brush it has some red on it because i was using red the last two days okay clean that off go in with black and do my other eye i probably could have done this video like after my foundation and just focused on the eyes and stuff but I thought I'd give you guys like my whole thing on how I do it. So I really don't know how long this video is going to be. I feel like it's gonna be a little longer, but that's okay. Cause at this point, I don't care. It's just crazy like how fast the minutes add up. And believe it or not, like, editing it takes a while um i just did like a second my um you guys have already seen it it's already out at this point um my dollar store haul um and that video is only like seven minutes it took me <laughs> um j i mean it was only seven minutes but it still took me at least like 45 minutes to just edit to make sure like i wanted it okay like videos take a lot longer usually like if i'm like on a video and i'm set and like i'm just good and like i'm on a roll a video usually for the most part will take me over an hour to edit um but if i'm like putting on all these things and really like an ad like sometimes it can take me two hours like it just depends on like what i'm doing and how much there really is um okay so i'm gonna go in and then take with this fluffy brush and swipe away all the bakiness that we had on and we're left with this okay and then i go in with my <laughs> ghetto ass <laughs> band-aid <laughs> yeah 
Um, it broke when I was at Blessing of the Bikes back in May. Um, same with my pizza palette. Um, so it like, fucking fell apart. So, okay. I'm gonna go in with this little fluff brush and I go in with the two colors down here and just swipe them back and forth. Go on it and then I just kind of pick where I want to start and just go. Go for it. Go on a little more. Just go right underneath. I pretty much just go like right underneath like my cheekbone, which is right here. And then I kind of go from like where my ear is. And then blend, make sure it's blended up into my temple. I'll go in right with the same thing. Just the other side. This, I love doing this part because I feel like it just really brings my face like together and I have a hair <laughs> okay and then I go up with these two and then I do underneath right here just do some of that on both sides go back in again with it and then I kind of do like my forehead right up by my hairline and then I go in with those two colors right here Ooh. I know I never use those the those two here okay and then I go on with that okay. pack on the light and then I go right where I had that concealer in between where I put the dark go on this side in between where I put the dark Oh, I just hit pan on another one. Or did I already hit pan? I don't know. I just noticed it. Oh, that's so depressing. Yeah, hang on. <laughs> um, and then pan. It's okay because I literally have this same thing except in like a f the four, like a four, like a travel size. So like, yeah. Okay. And then go in, and I use the light a lot. And then go with cheeks and. In the middle of my forehead and then I grab my Believe Beauty my blush and highlight and because I can't ever open these I use like I use each of them themselves to open the other one that makes sense if I can get that one open can't open makeup <laughs> use an object or another makeup product okay and then I go in with that brush that I just did all the contouring with with my this and I don't like pack it on do this and then I usually kind of start right here and wipe it upwards into my face See, I like this because like you can tell there's blush but it's not like an overwhelming amount it's kind of subtle subtle and I think it's so pretty okay and then I go in with this pink little fluff brush and that's when I go in I'm not real mm, go in with that and then I just go up right here And I just kind of put however many, however many, however much I want. Some days I want a little more, some days I don't want too much, but whatever. I just go with whatever I want. Put it up on my eyebrows. And I want a little on the lips. A little on the chin. I think I put the nose down my nose for some reason. And that is pretty much it right here. Okay, and then I go in with my NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. Make sure that's good. And then like, that's what I do. That's just... That is my makeup. This is my everyday makeup. So if I'm going out, like going to school or just my everyday makeup this is what I do it's pretty much just 
I just do all my makeup, do my eyebrows, and then I just do a simple wing. Um, when I'm done, take you to look at, and then I go around my lips and take off all the stuff that was on them, foundation, concealer, you know. And my lips are always chapped, so everything sticks to them, so it doesn't come off as nice. But, whatever. I'm just trying to get it as good as I can, and then I go in, and I use dry balm for everything, take it, put it on my fingernail, wipe it, and... I used to try and be so careful about trying not to get anything on my lips, but honestly, like, you can just take it all off, like, later. Oh, my lips hurt so bad. So, that's pretty much all I do. I don't really do any lipstick and stuff because I hate lipstick. It's very rare that you'll ever see me wear it. Um, yeah, this is my everyday look and what I do. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you guys want to see me do actually any other makeup looks or whatever, um, let me know down in the comments and I will make them for you. Um, so give this give this video a big thumbs up and if you're not yet subscribed, do that down below. Is that a red button down there? Yeah, hit that shit. <laughs> I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.